This is the outdoors. Follow me outside. Come on out. Inside, outside. Bam. Where to next? Can I see the yard? Let's go outside. Okay, come on outside. Oh. Little bird of paradise, little parasol. This is where we try to tan, but nothing happens. We just freckle. I don't. We have a jacuzzi, our swimming pool, which is gorgeous. Have you swum yet? Nope. Maybe neither. <laughs> but we will. Our barbecue area over there, which we still haven't used either. No, I have. She's used it. Great. I Thank did. God. Thanks for inviting me. When you come from here to the living room, it's really good. Inside, outside, bam. You land straight at the pool area. My favorite thing about the pool is that it's heated. I could jump in there, but I don't feel like being cold. You'll never be cold in my pool. There's always music, there's always pot, there's always an adventure. This is Sebastian's trampoline. He's really proud of it, he loves it. Plays on it every day, puts his friends in there. When girls come over, he jumps on the trampoline with the girls. It is what it is. The pool has to be at 97 degrees. That's just how pools should be. The hot tub is in the pool and you can't really see it when the overflow is on. And then when you turn it over to uh, jacuzzi mode, then the water level just lowers slightly and then the jacuzzi stands out. So this place was built kind of like a resort. All the guest bedrooms are all back to back and everybody has direct access to the pool. There's an outside barbecue area with uh, obviously the barbecue and there's Another sink and a fridge that I think, yep, has a bunch of beer. His favorite thing to do that yeah, I, like, I, he tries I to get me river. to do every day is sit in the sauna. I lay, I lay in the river. Lay in the uh, freezing cold river. Yeah, it's so nice. The and then you go in the sauna. Um, you'll, get, you'll get there one day and then you'll be excited about it. Yeah, welcome to the snow of Idaho. This is what we do. Hug our little babe around, build snowmen, smash each other in the face with snow. Go ahead, try it, hit, hit me. Ah. <laughs> this is the outdoors. The view of the house was like the most important. I feel like I'm such a sucker for views. Like the, the house itself could be an actual box, but if it has a really cool view, I'm totally in love with it. And this, this has a really, really fun view. You could see Universal Studios from here and the Comcast building and me bathing. And it has real grass, and there's a dumbass groundhog in here that's eating all of it. Here's his hole, and he'll come out, and then when you try to talk to him, he'll bury himself. We don't negotiate with terrorists around here, so we're done communicating with this groundhog. We're trying to build a pool here. I've been saying that we're trying to build a pool here for the past year, but it's not working. I didn't want you guys to come because the pool wasn't ready, but I also don't know if the show's gonna be around in 15 years, so I'm glad we're knocking it out now. There's a ping pong table. I don't know, I feel like it's got a really big backyard for California or for like at least for like a hillside house which I really enjoy whoa who did these who made these no one's safe <laughs> Natalie we get okay forget it all right guys this is my grill <laughs> this is a fire pit this is a pizza this is a skateboard I don't. E I didn't even know we had this. This is my indoor outdoor lounge. I designed this space for entertainment. I'm not home very often, but when I am home, I like to stay home <laughs> and have a few friends over and barbecue. I always want everything in my house to be very clean and chic, but at the same time, I wanted everything to be really comfy. This is just a really great area to sink in and watch movies at night as you gaze at the city. As I mentioned, I'm all about comfort so that's why I created these custom made lounges kind of like lounge beds because I like to sprawl out when I'm laying out and hanging out with my girlfriends and over here we are featuring the world's smallest pool Ta-da! <laughs> I live on a hill as you can see so I went to the ends of the earth just to create this little baby okay it's actually six feet deep it's salt water it heats up to 100 degrees on a hot day you can dip in and at night it's nice to get in and it's like a glorified jacuzzi okay no Jersey house is complete 
without a swing. I knew building this house, I had to put a swing somewhere, and what better place with this view outside with my baby pool. This is my happy place, and it's where I just swing all my cares away, literally, all above Los Angeles, the city of angels. You get that king of the jungle feel here where you kind of are watching over everybody. It's obviously quite sizable. And it's great because then I have everything right here. I could see everybody. And then if I want, I can go get back to myself, which I never really do. But it sounds good in theory. And then I have my hawk that I learned about in Dubai that you fly. So I brought one back and he lives in the tree and he flies back when I want him to. See ya, hawk. This pool was here, obviously, when I moved in, and it's super deep. It was grandfathered in. I, don't, I think they can't be this deep now. And I put the jacuzzi in, too. I like to show people, like, oh, go check out the pool. Go check it out, and then boom. Yeah. Look in there real fast. Look in there. Very funny. Stand over it. Very funny. Stand over it. And I like this dress. Come on, stand over there. <laughs> we have uh, lemons in the front and kumquats and lime trees and a whole vegetable garden. We love growing our own food, and our son loves eating them. Every morning, as I have a routine with Billy now. We come out, and then I take a kumquat, and we peel it, and we eat it, then we walk this way. We sit under here, and we both do a little quiet meditation. And Billy loves to see these little people in there. You'd think that they'd scare him, but he loves these little guys. He likes to say good morning and good night to these guys. Hi. It's mm -hmm. the best. Here's the pizza oven. This is where our first date happened, right? Yes. And I don't think the pizza well, first of all, he was bragging about how he made the best pizza in the world. And that night, uh, I think it was like some old dough or something. It just didn't, it was old dough. It, it didn't quite work out the way he wanted to. Yeah. So this is where we like to eat the pizza. We have a lot of pool parties and barbecues, pizza parties, and it's our favorite place. It's fat. I mean, this place went from like, you know, a bachelor pad, it was a certain, you know, clientele to last weekend, just babies everywhere. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's, that's what I always dreamed of being in my backyard, you know? <laughs> What? Oh good, the fire is going. Good. Again, I had no idea you guys would be coming here, so I don't know why the fire is already going on this warm 90 degree day. So this is our outdoor space. It's a great place to have cocktails at the end of the night. It's a great place to watch the sunset. I really wanted an outdoor fireplace that looked like a fireplace. I wanted something that looked like it was part of the house. The pool was actually built by Gwen Stefani, who lived here years before us, but apparently she put in the pool and had to go through a lot of red tape to get this into this, this area. And so I would like to thank her publicly. We've never met, but thank you for all your hard work because now it's one of my favorite places in our home. This is my dream backyard. Didn't come with the pool, so I created one. I love this space. I designed it myself. We're definitely known for throwing the largest pride celebration parties. I think this year we had 65 people. I mean, and this is the margarita table that ends up turning into a go-go stage. We have talent competitions held right here, and there's been no accidents to this day. I've probably redone my pool three times because I don't like that iridescent finish. I like the matte finish, but the matte finish is incredibly hard to maintain. I will probably redo this pool again, but I mean, it's a whole fiasco every time I do it. And this was Esther Williams' house, who was an Olympic swimmer. And then there's a little hillside. If you take the steps up, you can kind of go up there and you get a nice little view from the top. And I had a treadmill up there for about six months and then it stopped working. So they told me not to have treadmills outside, even in California. I like to think of myself as Dr. Doolittle. We inherited all these koi fish and two turtles whose names are Thelma and Louise. Hi guys. The moment that I knew that this was the place that we would raise our kids is was this tree. This 300 year old oak tree. We imagined our kids, you know, eventually climbing in that tree. This is where we grow vegetables for our house. This is the first time Nate's been in here, so make sure you zoom in. No, I'm a complete expert. This is broccoli, right? Yes, that's broccoli. This is broccoli. This is all broccoli. This is all broccoli. 
it's winter time, so the backyard is not in full swing, but I love collecting vintage patio furniture and redoing the cushions. So I've had this bed for many years and it's had, it's been like three different colors. And then this is my latest, newest one, which I'm very excited about because I love the tassels. My pool, which rarely gets used because it's freezing. And my pool house, which I turned into a pub. This is the garden. I think it's probably the nicest part of the house. I mean, it was certainly when I came out here, and I think because of the fountains and the trees and all these flowers and everything, it almost feels like you're in some kind of European villa. This was designed by the guy, apparently, that did the Beverly Hills Hotel bungalows. So I guess this has like a little bit of that old Hollywood charm, or that's what I read on Wikipedia. The guest house is actually really lovely. It's Square footage is bigger than anywhere I've ever lived in my adult life. Mm -hmm. 